Hello, I'm Chanika Gikenegi, Technical Lead at WSO2. Welcome to this screencast on auto-generate data services definitions in WSO2 Integration Studio for APIM 410 release. The new release of WSO2 Integration Studio brings the capability to auto-generate data services. In the previous release of Integration Studio, the data service had to be designed and configured from scratch, which is time consuming. This is a limitation when it comes to do quick demonstrations and also for the first user experience. With this feature, it makes life easier by quickly generating data services for an already defined data source. This data service would be generated to support basic CRUD operations which are select, insert, update and delete. This support is available for RDBMS type data sources. Let's look at demonstration on auto-generate data service definition support in WSO2 Integration Studio for APIM 410 release. First of all, let's have some tables in the sample database. Here I am using MySQL as the database. I have provided my credentials and connected to the database. I have already created a database called MySQL DB and added some tables as you can see. Now let's go to the integration studio. From this page, you can select different artifact types. First of all, I'm going to create a data source project to define MySQL data source. Here, I'm adding a data source to connect to the added MySQL database that I have shown you before. I'm renaming it as MySQL. Then it redirects you to the data source editor where you can configure the name, data source type, driver class name, connection URL, and other parameters. This data source editor too is a new feature that was introduced with the API Manager 410 release. Now let's go to configure the data service. From the given artifact types, I'm selecting new data service config projects. After that, we can add a data service. In previous releases, you had only two options to create a data service. One is to create a data service from scratch or import an existing data service to the workspace and keep on editing. We have introduced another option where you can generate a data service. Let's select that option. In the next wizard page, you can select the pre-configured data sources in the current workspace. I have selected the MySQL data source that I have configured before. Then we need to fetch the available tables to generate data services. But for that, we need a driver to create the connection. We have the option to use existing driver in the tool or we can upload a driver and use that. Once you click on the Fetch Table button, it retrieves all the tables of the given data source and lists down here. As you can see, for each table, there are four options that you can select. These options are corresponding to the REST resources in the data service and in other words, they are representing the basic CRUD operations of the table. Here in the branches table, as you can see, the put and delete options are not available. The reason for that is this table does not have a primary key. You can select the CRUD operations that you want to export from the data service. Then you can select the service generation mode where you have the option to generate a single service or multiple services. When you select generate a single service, it generates one service for all the tables. 
in there you can give the service name and generate when you select multiple data services it generates services per table i have selected multiple services option and these are the services that are generated let's go to one service in the editor you can see the queries are auto generated same with the resources these queries and resources are generated according to the http methods that you have configured in the wizard you can add remove or modify queries operations and resources based on your use cases so this feature allows you to generate data services in the integration studio without configuring that from the scratch i hope you find this screencast useful you can refer to wso2 resources to find out more on new features coming up with this release thank you